In the early days of creation, God formed the heavens and the earth, and among his celestial beings was Lucifer, a magnificent and powerful angel. However, Lucifer's pride led him to rebel against the Creator, and he became Satan, the adversary. This rebellion initiated a cosmic conflict in the heavenly realms. This is found in Isaiah chapter 14 verses 12 to 15 and Ezekiel chapter 28 verses 12 to 17. As the cosmic drama unfolded, Satan, now the serpent in the Garden of Eden, cunningly tempted Adam and Eve to disobey God's command. The consequence of their disobedience introduced sin into the world. In the aftermath of this rebellion, God pronounced judgment but also offered a glimmer of hope in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. Addressing the serpent, God declared, And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. This verse, often referred to as the Proto-Evangelium or the First Gospel, foreshadowed the ultimate defeat of Satan through the seed of the woman. As humanity multiplied, God initiated a covenant with Abraham, promising blessings and a great nation as mentioned in Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 3. Satan, recognizing the messianic implications, intensified his opposition to God's plan. The covenant with Abraham set the stage for the fulfillment of Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, where the seed of the woman would ultimately crush the head of the serpent. The messianic prophecies became a focal point in the cosmic struggle. God foretold the coming of a Messiah who would bring salvation and redemption. The promise of a seed from the lineage of Abraham and the tribe of Judah heightened the stakes in Satan's opposition. Genesis chapter 49 verse 10 prophesied, The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet until he to whom it belongs shall come. Satan, aware of these prophecies, targeted the messianic lineage, aiming to prevent the arrival of the promised Redeemer. As God's plan unfolded through history, Satan's opposition extended to the nation of Israel. The covenant with Israel included promises of blessing and protection but also foretold periods of disobedience and exile as consequences of turning away from God. Satan, seizing these opportunities, worked to hinder Israel's faithfulness and cooperation with God's plan. In the New Testament, the culmination of these prophecies occurred with the birth of Jesus Christ. This is depicted as the woman in Revelation chapter 12, symbolizing Israel, gave birth to a male child, caught up to God and his throne found in Revelation chapter 12 verses 1 to 6. This represented the birth, death, and ascension of Jesus, fulfilling the promises made throughout the ages. The dragon, identified as Satan, is cast down from heaven after a heavenly battle found in Revelation chapter 12 verses 7 to 9. Recognizing the implications of Christ's victory, Satan intensifies his opposition to Israel and to the followers of Jesus, symbolized by the woman's persecution in Revelation chapter 12 verses 13 to 17. The biblical narrative of Satan's opposition to God's plan involves his rebellion, the introduction of sin, the cosmic conflict in heavenly realms, and his focused efforts to thwart the fulfillment of messianic prophecies. Israel, as the chosen nation through which the Messiah would come, becomes a significant target in Satan's strategy to resist God's redemptive purposes. The prejudice and discrimination against Jews based on their ethnicity, religion, or heritage, can be viewed as a manifestation of Satan's opposition to God's redemptive plan. Throughout history, anti-Semitism has taken various forms, including religious persecution, economic discrimination, and violent pogroms. Satan's influence on human hearts and minds can be seen in the historical mistreatment of the Jewish people. The attempt to eradicate the Jewish people, as exemplified by events like the Holocaust, can be understood as an extreme manifestation of the spiritual warfare depicted in the narrative. By targeting Israel and the Jewish people, Satan seeks to disrupt God's plan and thwart the fulfillment of messianic prophecies. But what is the role of Israel now and in the future? Israel plays a pivotal role as the anticipated location where Jesus Christ will establish his millennial kingdom. 
The connection between Israel and the Messianic Kingdom is deeply rooted in the covenantal promises God made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The land of Israel is intricately linked to the fulfillment of Messianic prophecies, and it serves as a significant backdrop for the establishment of Jesus Christ's Kingdom. Satan seeks to thwart the establishment of Christ's Kingdom in the prophesied location. His opposition is marked by various attempts to disrupt God's redemptive plan, and this includes efforts to obstruct the role of Israel in the fulfillment of messianic prophecies. Satan's limited time, as mentioned in various biblical passages, intensifies his opposition. Knowing that his time is short as told in Revelation chapter 12 verse 12, he strategically works to undermine the significance of Israel and to hinder the fulfillment of messianic promises. This opposition is not merely historical but continues to manifest itself throughout the ages in various forms, including geopolitical challenges, conflicts, and spiritual attacks against the people and land associated with God's promises. From the ancient prophecies pointing to the coming Messiah to the geopolitical challenges faced by the nation of Israel, Satan's efforts persist. His tactics involve stirring conflicts, promoting discord, and influencing nations to oppose the divine plan set in motion through Israel. The spiritual attacks against the chosen people and the land are part of a larger cosmic conflict, with Satan desperately attempting to obstruct the unfolding of God's redemptive purposes. Believers, in response to the understanding of the spiritual conflict and the significance of Israel in God's redemptive plan, should engage in fervent prayer for the well-being of Israel and stand against anti-Semitism. This response involves deepening understanding of biblical prophecy and eschatology, actively sharing the gospel, and embodying Christ's love and truth in daily interactions. Believers are called to support initiatives that promote peace and justice, contribute to the well-being of the region, and steward resources in alignment with God's redemptive purposes. The overarching theme is one of hope and assurance, trusting in God's sovereignty and actively participating in his plan for the establishment of his kingdom on earth. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Share them as well to your friends and family.